Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Germany-based lightning and surge protection, earthing components and safety equipment manufacturer Den and Sun has officially opened a local subsidiary, Den Protection South Africa, in Johannesburg. Normvelo Butelezi reports. Establishing its first local subsidiary, Den and Sun, Den Protection South Africa MD Alexis Bauweis speaks to Engineering News about the various strategies that the company has to penetrate the South African market and the African market. From a Dean South African point of view, we have established a partner program where we together with our partners work on a way forward in order to not only create demand from the experience side of our employees, but also for our partners as establishment within things like the vendor lists within companies, uh, presence in the southern and uh, you know, African markets. So it's going to be a hand wash the other scenario where we're going to support them from a knowledge transfer point of view, technical backup, and they will bring us the opportunities just due to their presence in the market. Alexis discusses the new opportunities that the Den Protection South Africa company will be bringing to South Africa. Multiple. The first would be, as I again stated earlier, the knowledge transfer from a company that has got over a hundred years of experience with enlightening and search protection. We would share this via seminars, uh, time spent with end users, training, also training up our, our own staff. Uh, we might also bring in manufacturing in the future, could be a very big possibility for us. With that comes job creation. With the job creation, obviously, then we also add to the market itself. And that's really what we could bring from an opportunity point of view. Also, a lot of funds are being transferred into this country, are being invested here from, the, from, from Germany. And that's also something that would you know, make our country benefit from this. Den and Son MD Dr. Philip Den speaks about the unique features that the Den Protection South Africa company will bring compared to other established companies. The company Den is uh, more than 100 years old, has more than 100 years of experience. We are a family owned uh, company, we are not belonging to the stock market, so we can have a very uh, long term oriented strategy and uh, we are, have a lot of patents and uh, a lot of technicians and that is unique to other companies. Philip concludes by explaining the decisions that led the company to choose South Africa as an investment opportunity. Dane has a clear strategy to go uh, to other countries to in internationalize uh, the company uh, and as we have in the European community a slightly downturn in growth. We are concentrating since several years on other countries, especially the BRIC countries. And when you're looking on the BRIC countries, you see very fast uh, the potential of South Africa, the long-term potential of South Africa, and that's why we decided to uh, invest here. At the news making headlines this week, Johannesburg considers ways to bolster food security and reduce waste. Almost half of the food produced worldwide ends up on landfill sites, with South Africa contributing more than 9.4 million tons to this global scourge. Meanwhile, Johannesburg Mayor Parks Tower pointed out at a waste summit that about a quarter of Johannesburg's 4.4 million residents go without food for an average of three days each month. The population of Johannesburg is estimated to be 4.4 million people, 22 percent of which are fall in the category of those who are poor, of those who are poor, of the 22% of those who are poor, it is estimated that about 42% are food insecure, meaning that in fact they go without food for at least three days in a month. And therefore food security and urban agriculture initiatives have become a critical part of the programs that we're pursuing as the city of Johannesburg because we believe that in fact setting ourselves an objective that says we want to build a city where, no, where none go hungry should be the beginning of how we address poverty because you can't attack everything all at the same time and therefore we have prioritized food security as a critical intervention to enable us to confront the challenge of poverty, unemployment and hunger and in this regard focus directly 
on hunger. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. Thank <laughs> you.